news, ideas are developing stories. African countries sending more satellites to space. It has been more than 20 years since the continent launched its first satellites into space. So far as of now, 44 have been sent into space by 13 countries, and 125 more are being developed by 23 countries, and all of them to be launched before 2025. After a slow takeoff, now Africa is catching up with other regions, and most importantly, the satellites can have a great impact within the continent by producing data to address agricultural challenges for better water management by monitoring droughts for better forest management and better communication by providing internet connection. Beautiful Africa! Next news, strong winds cover Sao Paulo with sandstorm. The state is already suffering a severe drought. A strong wind has caused a sandstorm that has covered many cities within the state, causing significant damage to structures and houses. Skylights across the state suddenly turned to orange and brown, causing a lot of distress to the population. The strong winds brought down trees and destroyed houses. According to scientists, climate change and deforestation is worsening dry periods in different parts of the world. Urgent actions are needed to reduce and cut emissions. To this last news, the space is becoming a junkyard. Many people are not aware, but just out there, the space is becoming the biggest garbage dump with millions of junks from old satellites, stray bolts, spent rockets, etc. Such that it is becoming difficult for astronauts to scramble for safety. Since these objects are floating, some of them at high speed, States need to address this issue immediately, even before accidents happen. Each country should stop polluting the space, and whenever planning space missions, they should include proper disposal of used materials. I hope our planet does not become a county of junk. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. This is Mac from the Newscast, and let this is an update.